you know, I just wonder. Now, this is what I, I always tell you. I always show you the silage. You know, people stop wasting a lot of money doing silos, what, what, you do a lot of things. Eh? You have to do simple stuff. This is not my farm. This is Brian's farm. I think you see, he has already made the surface silage. Brian, some people say, I'm lying. Tell these people, how you made this? Did you dig a ditch? Did you put, actually, you even see, there is no iron sheets, there is no <laughs> what. It's just a simple, select somewhere, put the grass Chop it, compact, cover. Friend, tell them what you okay. really did. Uh, thank you very much, Amisi. This is a very important thing that uh, you farmers have to learn. And we dedicated ourselves to make sure that we teach you and we show you the way. Those that will come with us, will move with us. Those that will stay behind, maybe will come later and join. Oh, when, <laughs> when, no, they will come and join. So here we have made our surface silage, you can see. So it is a matter of uh, uh, putting the, the silage covers down, then you chop the materials. This is actually, this is giant panicum, which is what we chopped and, and uh, it is compiled here. Then you, you compact the, the silage and then you put the covers and then you cover like this. Now, one of the most important things that I want you to see today is, this is silage. These are tons and tons of silage already uh, covered here. But we are going to show you the, the feed load structure, which is just being constructed on my farm. Now, we are having feeds already. The feeds are being stored even before the structure is done. So that when the animals come, they will just convert it. into money. Actually, this is money. I want to kept here. remind them of the triplets. We talked about the triplets. We talked about the management. We talked about the nutrition. We talked about the, um, the, the genetics. The genetics. So now the feeds are on ground already. The animals are already there, but not even here. But you people, you introduce the animals when you don't have grass. So what are, what are you going to do? Our work actually, his work or my work or the farmer's work is selling grass, but in the form of muscles. So the triplets is now done with one, which is the nutrition. The animals are going to come. He has not even thought about bringing them, but the feeds are. Here, the structures are there. You're going to see. So I think we take them to the structures. Yeah. They see. Let's take so them the triplets. The yeah. uh, and this is this is the feedlot. I, I want to remind you one thing. Feedlot, it is not the house, but feedlot means to pump an animal with feeds, and you limit the exercising time. Yes. Don't allow it to move. So don't think about big load and think about a very big structure, what, what. So this is a restraining system crash. We're going to put uh, the, the, the weighing scale. I think you can see the structures are very simple. Very, very simple. And you're going to see the animals. You're going to see the animals here. And this guy is going to get money, you know. I'm going to convert the grass that I've been selling to them into, into money. So if, if they don't want to use the grass, you're going to use it yourself. Let me show them that the grass can actually make uh, make money. So this this structure, Brian, I know, is getting his money from the grass. I told you we have a lot of grass. This is grass. He's selling the grass. Now he's going to convert the grass into a gate muscle. So this is a feedlot, and uh, I'm really pleased and I'm very happy that the youth is now getting so much into uh, agriculture. We, we are not just learning it, but we are practicing it. I want it to be um, a habit in the country that whenever you get done with school, go and do agriculture. Why do we call agriculture a backbone of Africa when we don't have, oh sorry, a backbone of Uganda, when we don't even have the animals to sell? Let me tell you one thing. Another challenge that we are going to have, we are going to do feedlots, and we are going to convert the, the grasses into muscles, and we shall sell them. But now... Another point is genetics, genetical improvement. Because in this section, we don't sell local animals because they cannot convert enough. We need high converters, superior animals that can convert much grasses and then turn it into muscles. And we sell, we are selling muscles. Actually, we yes. expect, uh, we're going to put 100 animals in this, uh, in this feedlot and we expect each animal to be adding one kilo per every day. I have the feeders, 
I've been teaching you uh, for the last three years about how to plant glass and uh, use it to make your own money. Give it to the animals and then the animals convert for you and give you the money. That's why when you were there I was calling the grass the money. Now, I am going to show you myself here. You see, people have been thinking that this is a very hard technology, this is something very hard to do, but it's our work. That, that we, sure we, that... we pause on people's farms. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> uh, having thought we go on people's farms and, and pause. So we have put uh, this structure here, we are going to complete it, and we are going to put in animals here, which are going to be converting a kilo every single day. You are, you are free to just come and, and, and check on us, see what is happening on ground. You know, you know some people think uh, we have just been talking. Let them see how the grasses are being turned into, into muscle. Hamis has been showing you the, the goats. The, the, what you see, that goat is turning the grass into what? Into muscles. So and you must understand that you must have the feeds. After having the feeds, you must have superior genetics to convert those feeds. These are like machines. And after that, you have to do good management. Of which the structures done. are already done here. So the structures are here. Yes. Very soon. The, the, other, the, other one is is, already there. the other one is the hair bunker. The, the toilet is the other side. You people, uh, you do farms <laughs> and you don't do <laughs> toilets on farms. So you need to learn a lot. So, Brian. Uh -huh. uh, this is my take and this is my advice to the youth. Yes. I know we don't have money. I know we cannot afford to have a hundred million. But Brian did not start with a hundred million. Hamis did not start with a hundred million. But the little money we get, the reason why we have to first go and be at work for a moment is getting the small amount of money. The small capital. Start investing it wise. The reason why people don't multiply money is because of poor investment plan. Which projects are you investing in? You're a student, oh, you're done with school, you've just gotten a job, you're thinking about putting up a rental. A rental needs a lot of money. But when you put two or three animals, they convert every day. They add on small money. Actually, they were see? making some money. Some money <laughs> on your account. Me, I'm here. But Tell I'm them what, the you say, what you told to the other yeah, farmer, yeah. that when the cow is chewing, or a goat is uh, making some money for Dollars you. Dollars for you. And you people, believe me or not, Every bite of an animal <laughs> is, money. is money for you or for the owner. Every chewing it does. Your work or your headache is supposed to be why my cow or my goat is not that chewing. Is not chewing. No, that not is your trouble. The money. And you have to find out what could be the problem. So you people, we have showed you this. Brian, thank you for showing these people. And uh, I think many youth will come up. Others sure. even have opportunity for money, but we, we, take open, it for, for we are open to advise yeah. this nation as far as the livestock is concerned. We take money for a buzz. We don't deny you to have some drinks, but limit. Get a percentage. When you get a million, let me tell you how you break the money. When you get a million, 10% is your personal money, not even your kid or your sister, your what. 20% dedicated to the family, 20% give it to the, those people, of course. I don't know whether, Brian, they don't bring some issues to you. Somebody you don't know comes and says, you have to give me something. I need money. We prayed for you. You get it? So put them also on the list. In the 20%, the 50%, invest it. Invest the 50%. Even if 100,000, you break it that way. It will help you to save. But you don't save and say, I'm saving on account. Because there is no any account that adds you money. Put it in the living money. The living animals. Let Put it in the grass because you human. Even, yes, you see, even this grass is adding something. Whenever it grows, it is bringing up. No, it is something. making more money. When to, when I cut and it grows, it is making more money. More money. You yes. get it. Put it in things that are living. Actually, every day those grass grow, and every day they are making money. So, for us, we are dedicated to make money in this kind of life, and we want to show you. And we want to show you. Follow us, and you will definitely pick something. It's not yeah. a joke, but pick something. You can always learn from us. Contact us. We don't need your money to contact us. Talk to us. You get? We are there. To help we are you there. We can help sure you. That you improve and you move further. All right. Thank you very much, Amis. Thank you.